Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jasmine Lee and today I'm going to be doing a Boohoo try on haul for you guys. I got a few pieces from Boohoo on their sale recently. They had about 60 to 70% off things. So I also got a few pairs of shoes that I really like and a bag that I've always dreamed of having in my collection. So I'm really excited to share everything with you guys. Thank you so much for your support and your love. Um, stay tuned. <laughs> So first up, I'm going to show you guys my shoes that I got and then I'll finish off with my bag and then we'll get into the trying haul. Sound good? So first up, I got these super cute mules in black. They have that spatula toe, spatula style toe. And then they have like this cinching here on the top of your, I don't know what to call that part of your foot, but at the top of your foot, they have this cinching here. These shoes were actually kind of uncomfortable at first, but after a few wears, they do get comfortable. I like this little square heel detail. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but I like how that's a square instead of just being like a boring heel. That's kind of funky. And yeah, it's just black classic. Mules are really comfortable and they're really in right now. So they're literally everywhere. If you want them, you can find them. Whether you be on a designer budget or a regular budget, you can definitely find mules. Next up, I have the same shoe, but in the color Sage. The reason I got these same shoes but in sage is because sage is such a hot color right now. Like, this color is everywhere and it's such a pretty shade of green. Like, it's not green enough to be mint, but it's not, like, light enough to be considered. Would you consider sage or pastel? Maybe. But, yeah. I just really like this color. It's very unique. Um, it's just one that I felt like I had to have. The shoes came out to be, I want to say, $17 or $20 each in comparison to 30 or 40 dollars which is their normal resale price i also got these espadrille wedge platform sandals um i figured these would be really fun to wear like just with shorts or a day out if i want to wear heels or have a little height but still be friendly enough to walk around have the sh well have the shoe be friendly enough to walk around these are the shoes for that i like es espadrille detailing this is one that i really really like they're kind of youthful too. Like I haven't had a shoe like this in a very long time. So I was like, why not? And they were on sale. I forgot how much these were, but I want to say they were probably around the $17 to $15 range. Lastly, for the smaller items, I got this bag. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. I get happy every time I see this bag. Like I wanted one of these so freaking bad, like for the longest time. But every time I saw them, they were like $75, $80, $60. I don't want to pay that. I just don't. Um, I'm not sure if the wood grain of this bag is real or fake or whatever. I don't know. But I know that it looks the same. It functions the same. And so it shall be. Um, <laughs> I got mine for $20. Again, this is off of boohoo.com. I do believe they're still in stock. And I'll make sure to link everything in my description box down below. So are you guys now ready for the main attraction, which is the clothes? Cause I am. I am excited. I hope you guys get excited and let's just get into the video. <laughs> well, this is one of my first pieces. This is a coordinate set. I got it in black. It is knitted. So I figured this was a cool like spring to summer piece. You can actually like mix and match this stuff. This is what it looks like in the back. I love how these pants make my like waist and you know hips and everything look real flattering. And I love the length. It's very warm, so I wouldn't suggest wearing this if you're in like a humid climate. But like, let's say you're strolling on the beach in the morning and it's kind of breezy, this is great for that. Put a bikini on underneath, so you don't have to worry about a nip slip or pop pasties on. That's my only concern um, if I were to wear this without anything underneath is like, I'd keep my arms down like this, <laughs> but yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the other one I got in purple. So this is the purple version of that first set. Um, again, it's a knitted two piece. Um, it does not come as, does this? Yes, it does come as a set. I'm sorry. It's about $17 on sale right now. I'm not sure if they're out or not. Super cute. Long enough to wear with heels. You can also wear it with sandals if you want a more slouchy, relaxed feel. So it's very versatile. Wear it up high-waisted, or you can slouch them a little more if you like a baggy fit. This 
piece is again another two piece from boohoo well everything in this video is from boohoo obviously but this two piece is a short knitted set so it comes with these short and it comes with this sweater vest so of course you could put a shirt on underneath if you're wearing this in the summertime it's perfectly okay not to the buttons come up high enough to where you're not you know too revealing it's very comfy and relaxed and just real cute for a day out what it looks like I like the preppy vibe of this I really like preppy styles and like pieces so I really like the vibe that I get with this and I like that this vest is something that I can translate to different seasons I love that about this piece so definitely gonna enjoy wearing that and I'll make sure to post the prices of all these items on the screen so this piece I have mixed feelings about in my head I envision things going a lot different okay like I don't know but because the piece and the, the top and the bottom are sold as a set I couldn't really customize this fit to what I wanted so I'm probably going to be dependent on the washing machine to shrink this top a little bit we'll see or I'll like figure out how to like really style it really cute and finesse it but I really got this because of the color. I love chartreuse green on my skin. It's just a very pretty golden undertone kind of green that I just always like. It just always looks cute. Another knitted two piece. I know there's like, I don't know what, I, what got into me this time, but yeah. Um, these pants can be worn with anything. They aren't see-through or anything like that. So yeah, they would be like work appropriate. Um, and translate into different settings so I like that they're definitely long and long enough to cover your heels I would just like be really careful so that you don't cause like rips at the bottom because as I'm stepping I'm stepping on my pants leg and that's not cute to have a huge hole in your pants so just be mindful of that so yeah I kind of just want to figure out how I can create more shape or creatively layer these pieces maybe mix and match them so once I figure that out, you'll probably see these pieces in another lookbook. This top and bottom, um, again, are knitted, but not as thick as the other sets. So these are actually a lot more summertime friendly. This top only buttons down um, with four buttons on it. So like you can even tie it up like this if you want to give it a little more shape, give it a little more pizzazz. Or you can wear it for a relaxed fit like this, throw on some cute sandals and go to like the store or you know run errands or whatever, like even chilling around the house. This is a nice little vibe. I tried to pick out a lot of colors because I'm famous for like wearing black, gray, you know like muted neutral tones so I'm really trying to get out my comfort zone and add more color to my wardrobe. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this. And these pants are long, but they're not as long as the other ones. So, I mean, you could still wear heels with these, but I think sandals suffice um, with this particular outfit. Another thing I like is that if your arms are a problem area for you, um, then these have a little bit of a longer sleeve to cover up whatever areas you might be a little insecure about. So, there's that. So, you know, however you want to work it, there's a lot of things that you can do to play all of these pieces up and down and you know play with proportions which is another element of fashion that I enjoy so I hope to continue to do more lookbooks and fashion style videos to give you guys more insight as to my personal style and what I enjoy wearing and indulging in. So I intentionally got this blazer. The fit is a tall but it's also like a 12 I think which in hindsight, I should have at least sized down one. I wanted it to fit baggy, but not necessarily this baggy. Um, but I do like it. I really am obsessed also with this sage color this season, which I'm seeing a lot of. So I'm happy about that. Um, the blazer is pinstripes, which I also love. I really love menswear. So this is something that I cannot wait to get tailored. I want them to add like an extra button on it and kind of like snatch it a little bit at my waist so it hugs just a tiny bit in the midsection 
And then I got these shoes also from Boohoo. These are mules in the same sage green color. The only thing I want to change is to like kind of have a tailor cinch it in the back so it has a little more shape and like definition around my waist. So it's not just like boom, you're wearing your dad's blazer. For some reason, manufacturers love putting fake pockets on women's clothing. Give us real pockets. But yeah, we have these little flaps to make it look like something. They're not useful in any kind of way. So this is yet another menswear piece. I got it in this super pretty blue because, again, I want to experiment with the colors a little more and incorporate that into my wardrobe. So I thought this would be a fun place to start. So there's these power suit type pants. I actually got these a lot bigger than what was necessary. So I have to actually take these also to the tailor to get tailored in. But you kind of get the gist. Um, they're high-waisted, super long. They're comfortable enough to... Um, you know, wear just day out. You can dress these down and dress them up if you decide to leave the blazer behind. They can definitely make just some cute plain bottoms. And they have pockets, you know what I mean? Because we love pockets, okay? All of the blazer fits just fine. This is um, another blazer that I also want to take and have tailored and just kind of like snatched in at the waist. Just a little, little snatchy snatch. So yeah, really loved this suit, really loved um, the price. Everything that you guys see in this video was on sale at the time of the purchase. All right guys, so lastly I have this suit and um, this one's in black. The blazer that comes with the, this pair of pants actually was sold out. So I just found a different blazer. This is just a long line blazer with two buttons, nice little lapel. Again, fake pockets. I don't know what it is. Why Why give us a pocket at all? To make it look like a pocket and not be useful. Why? The girls want pockets. I just want brands to know that. We want pockets, okay? But luckily I do have them on the pants. It's a nice little menswear vibe. You can like make this girl sexy, put a little bustier on like I have, or you can put a actual shirt on and go to work. Okay. This is what it looks like buttoned up. And just like with my other two blazers that you guys have seen, I do want to get this one snatched a little bit. So I want it to fit like this in the midsection as opposed to kind of being like not having a shape. So there's that. Let's see what the pants look like. Oh yeah, these pants are actually the right size, so <laughs> this is what they should look like, um, the blue ones, once I get them fit and tailored to my body. I really, really, really love these pants, just the overall vibe, the feel, they're super like baggy, but not too baggy to the point where it loses shape, so I like that. 